Today we're going to take a look at how to install MX Simulator on Linux. So first off, uh, let's locate the file you got for the Linux version. Let's extract the file. Uh, so with this we will get just a regular folder pretty much. So you can see here and then there's readme.linux let's take a look at that so we can see first run mx to play it should find itself in its install directory automatically it, if it doesn't set up the environment variable mx home to point to the directory where you unpacked it okay but i don't want my game to be in um, this downloads folder so i'm just going to rename you can also press f2 to MX Simulator. I'm gonna cut and I wanna paste it in home. Okay, so at this point, let's uh, open the terminal, which looks like this. You can also start typing term and it should come up terminal, or if you have something else similar that you prefer. So let's see here, uh, we can list the files. Uh, and if we do, we can see that we are home, uh, Christopher, that's me, and uh, you can see this matches. If you press Control L, it shows you the link to where you are. So we know that we are in the same directory, you can see. Okay, so ls for list, we can see we have MX Simulator, cd stands for change directory directory something like that so cd uh, we type in mx s and then press tab and we'll get the rest by itself to um, run run the game we will uh, need to do this this basically means execute within this own folder the file called mx because if we look here we'll see there's a call file called mx right over here so let's do that and you may notice in your game that it probably won't start I will get to that in a second here and you can see I'm prompted for my registration key because I haven't entered that yet uh, but you can basically see that the game runs so why it it's not going to run uh, it's going to be you are most likely you are most likely on a 64-bit system and sim requires 32-bit um, libraries so basically you have to go on go ahead and install all those libraries and that is really hard to know which ones they are so um, I am going to leave a link in the description this is probably a p description I I don't know I always struggle with that word so link there at least uh, to go ahead and look at it and that is basically how you play sim but there is one more thing you may need to want to know and that is that this is the normal sim folder where you put all the tracks and skins and everything you can see that it's uh, 2013 super tracks and stuff uh, but where is the personal folder basically if we do this forward slash dot mx simulator you can see that it comes up and this is the personal folder it's got the last log and the config but you cannot see it here however if we do switch out of the MX Simulator directory we do ls and a I think we should get all things here and the ones with dots before are so called hidden files or hidden folders so we can see we have dot MX Simulator as well uh, so if we do like this we should get more clearly so you can see we have a folder here that is MX so basically, yep, here you have it. 
So if you want to go in from the terminal, you basically just do cd dot mx simulator, and that is the personal folder. So that is pretty easy actually, just to get it running. But the link for the 32-bit libraries will be in the description. I figured that out myself by just getting some help from JLV and then just googling and installing more and more and more as it didn't as it felt like I got closer, so all of those libraries may not be needed, but I will include all of them in case they are. So with that said, I hope you now can play Mix Simulator on your Linux machine, and uh, yeah, enjoy!